Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. I hope you're well, let's get straight into your reading. I'm going to use the angel card first. So what do we have for Virgo please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos for the week. What does Virgo need to hear the most? Thank you. What does Virgo need to hear the most? Thank you for the week. Card is out. We have take action. And you see the angel taking the reins of the horse and charging ahead. It is empowered action, this one. Yeah. So I'm going to pull three cards, Virgo, and then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, as we always do, you know, by now, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. And it will be 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. Starting with the challenge position, please. Thank you. Seven of Swords. The Empress is the advice from Spirit. And we have the Three of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Virgo, please. Angels, Spirit's Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. For the week. Can we clarify the cards on the table? 26th of April to the 2nd of May. 2021 please so what do we have for virgo please angels spirits guides message for our lovely virgos thank you for the week yeah we have the seven of cups the empress is clarified by the temperance and the Three of Swords, Virgo, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's interesting energy that I'm getting in this. Some of you could be... <laughs> feels in this situation somebody is is keeping secrets in terms of how they want to move forward and the seven of cups is to do with hopes dreams wishes it can be to do with choices and decisions as well but it feels in this situation this is about focusing on the future you're i'm definitely getting in this energy you're keeping something to yourself it's a it's a it's a hidden energy the seven of of swords Yeah, I just feel that you, it can be kind of acting strategically, but in the challenge position, it's more like, it's more about keeping, it feels like you're keeping something within. You're keeping something to yourself and it's to do with new opportunity. Um, now, you know, that could be anything, that could be in terms of uh, how you're moving forward, how you're making decisions about your future, what path you're choosing to follow, you know, what decisions you're looking to make. You know, the, the Seven of Cups is hopes, dreams and wishes. And it's a forward-looking energy. So I'm definitely getting, and, and, and generally there's an, uh, there's an alignment energy with the challenge position. So I'm keeping something about what I'm going to do next and I'm not telling this other person about it. Or I'm not telling somebody about it. Yeah. Because the Empress is a card of sowing new seeds. Uh, she is a card of new abundance, but she's also an energy of creating something new, the birth of something new. She's very good in terms of love, romance, relationships. She's also rules money areas as well. Um, but it, it feels in this energy you're ready to sow new seeds. And you're making some choices or decisions on how you're going to align 
to sowing new seeds, embracing new possibilities here. Uh, there's new growth, planting new seeds, and it feels like the time is right. Everything is ready to, to be, you know, the seeds, the soil is right, the conditions are perfect for new seeds to be planted. You know, and that temperance energy, you know, temperance is interesting. Temperance can come. Uh, what I'm getting in this energy, you know, when we temper metal, it becomes twice as strong. And I'm definitely getting it in this energy. You, you have been tested and it feels in this situation, there's a resoluteness that you're getting in how you're adapting and moving forward to plant new seeds for your future and finding your flow. This is about restoring balance and harmony and everything as well. But it, it feels in this situation, this is about how you're adapting. Because what I'm getting as well, Virgo, is the beliefs that you had, that you held, have changed, are being adapted. And it's because you've been hurt. The Three of Swords is about, you know, you've been, it feels like you've been dealing with some hurt here. The, the Three of Swords can be about heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, uh, wounds, emotional pain, third party situations, call it what you will. But it feels like the, the, the beliefs that you held, and I feel it's to do with whatever this Three of Swords is all about, you are changing those beliefs now, your perspective in how you move forward. What you held dear is not what you no longer held dear. You have a new set of beliefs that you're adapting to and moving forward. You have a new focus, you're focusing on new dreams. And there's definitely an energy of, it's been a challenging path, it's been a test of faith with this Three of Swords, but you're one step away, this is in the near future, you're one step away from, it feels opening up a shiny new beginning. Yeah. Uh, this could be one obstacle to overcome, one thing that you need to do, one hurdle you need to jump over. I mean, call it what you will. You know, this could be anything from like paperwork or, um, you know, I mean, this can be to do with money areas, this can be to do with homes, relocation. So it might well be that there's just one more thing that you need to do. And then it feels in this situation you're so close to getting to the Ace of Pentacles because the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it can be a career or financial opportunity. It can also be to do with moving, relocating, can be both. But it also feels in this situation ready to bring, ready to manifest a new path for yourself. That is what the Empress is all about. Ready to create and manifest a new path for yourself, however it resonates for you. You know, that, I mean, it could well be you're waiting on loans or money to come through or, um, you know, paperwork to come through. But it feels that for some of you, the new door is opening. The new door is opening. There's, there's almost like one thing to do and then you're done. So perseverance is key here. Um, and it's new value. It's new value. It's finding solid ground on a new path. It feels for some of you, you want this shiny new beginning. And you're acting covertly, you're keeping, I'm definitely getting this energy of secrets. You have a secret plan. You're setting everything up behind the scenes. And it's because you've been hurt. And the belief that you held, it felt to do, I'm feeling with somebody here, but it's not necessarily, it can be a situation it feels the belief you held here, you no, no longer hold that belief because you've changed your beliefs and you're looking forward on manifesting a new path for yourself. Yeah. So I'm going to pull one for this Three of Swords. Yeah. It, it, something's coming to a close here. Um, and we have a judgment call. You're ready to make some kind of judgment call. This is the call to action. Uh, you're ready to step into your light, Virgo. Um, it, it just feels in this situation, this is rebirth energy. This pain, whatever has happened here, it feels it's sparking some powerful rebirth. You're ready for the new beginning. And 
there could be some judgment call that you're making and I, I feel for some of you um, it is definitely an energy of I'm ready to take action I'm ready to deal with this and this can be a card of letting go and releasing that three of swords because there's rebirth happening the judgment card represents death destruction transformation rebirth because it is a pluto energy and you're one step away it feels like there's one thing to do but absolutely you're charging on the horse and charging ahead towards this shiny new beginning wow feels and it's a gift you're being given a helping hand from the universe have no doubt that judgment is karma here there is some karmic gift that you're being given in the form of some beautiful new opportunity okay powerful reading virgo so i've got crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your so in your thoughts as your soul is yeah and this is the awakening this is a powerful awakening um because you know there's the rising of the souls here we have the elephant grounding ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth and i think that's what you're doing you are looking at what you want in life now what you where you're placing your focus what is of value to you in your life and that is that grounding energy it feels any emotional situation or mental situation that you've been dealing with is behind you and you're just focusing practically on the things that you need to do to bring that new beginning your way like i said it can be job offers business opportunities moving relocating or manifest or just actually just manifesting a new path um you know taking steps on physically on a new path for yourself but it feels like it's coming it's in the near future so i hope you enjoyed the reading virgo if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you